Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Lav Golubovic. I am the technical specialist for plant and infrastructure here at Autodesk Australia and New Zealand. Um, what we're going to have a look at today is two new features that came out with the recently released extension one for plant 2016. Uh, it, last week I, I put up a video showing PCF to pipe, uh, which meant we could convert a PCF uh, that came out of another plant package into plant 3D but today we're going to have a look at um, some of the new features that came out with the equipment uh, and also going to have a look at uh, reference dimensions for for the isometrics so to kick off I'm going to put in a piece of equipment we've got this vertical vessel here and you can see here that on the main body on the cylinder I've got lugs and platforms um, if we wanted to do that from scratch we click on the cylinder and then we click on add trim here and you can see we've got a few different options here so stiffening ring skirts platforms lugs and body flanges so if i want to do a platform you can see i've got the platform there uh, and then maybe i want to add, add the lugs so when i click on create we'll come into plant and there we have there our, our platform and lugs so I, I guess it just saves us from having to model these types of things in AutoCAD or even using the plant steel commands to, to attach uh, objects to the equipment. We can just do that straight out of the box um, using the, the equipment uh, dialog box there to, to add these as part of the equipment. Um, the other thing I wanted to have a look at tonight is uh, reference dimensions on, on the ISOs. So I'm just going to run a piece of pipe I'm going to do just a couple of changes of direction just to show uh, what you might be working on, something similar. So I'm going to stick in a reference dimension uh, on this run over here. And let's come out two metres to the west. And I'm going to say that it's the centre line of a steel column. OK. Uh, and then let's do the same thing for this east-west run. I'm going to come back over here a metre and say that it's a grid line and I'll do another one in this direction over here I'll come out two meters as well uh, and I'll say that it's a building so now we have our line our pipeline there with um, the reference dimensions they're just marked there in those red symbols so I'm just going to do it quickly do a quick ISO of this Again, it will just run in the background. Plant Ready will tell me when it's finished uh, and it's been created. I'll get a notification balloon down the bottom as I would normally uh, with any other any other run. And you can see there, there's our, our reference dimensions. So two meters off to the center line, a meter off to the center line of the grid, and two meters off to the building. There. So if you've been waiting for something like this to, to come along now, we now have it. Uh, it's part of extension one that you should see uh, inside your subscriptions there as well. So um, yeah, just a, a couple handy new features that, that just came out. Uh, if you want to touch base with me, you can see there on the screen my name, my email. If you want to touch base with me on LinkedIn, you can grab me on there as well. Uh, give us a yell and then we can we can have a look at it uh, in regards to your own situation, your own plant and any modeling as well. Thank you.